Double Dragon. It's your boy A-Man's. Like it. Back with some new heat for y'all today. You heard what she said. Let's get it, man. Man. You ever used to wear band-aids under your eye? Did you do that? The Nelly? Because of a fight? What? No, the Nelly. For a fashion statement? The Nelly, bro. I didn't think it. You never did that before? Nah. Did y'all do that before? Am I missing out? Yeah. I used to do. I used to do it all the time when I was in the house. Like you was. A... Oh, okay. So when I get my eyebrows split like two lines, right? who you? Who you? Who you? Who you? I, the soldier boy. You didn't do that because of soldier boy though. I'm pretty sure I thought I did. Yeah. With so the, you? So you saw split? soldier boy? You talking about recently? What? You talking about recently? He always had the split in his eyebrow. Okay. But I'm saying I got inspiration from it, looking at it by the time when I did it. And then you freaking give me all this slack for it, and you got to put it on the Band-Aid from Nelly. This Band-Aid look weird, though. Put it on. That's different. I'm not altering, like, my physical body. You know, it's a fashion statement. It's too state. sticky to put on my face. It's a fashion statement. I just got Neosporin on it. Oh, I'm like, why is it so sticky? Oh. So there's no comparison. When you're talking about being inspired by, by an artist, you never told me you was inspired by Soldier Boy. I when, I first, when I first When I first asked you about it, I didn't even ask you what inspired you about it. I was just like, oh, that's pretty dope. I was like, yeah, I seen you know, uh, Soldier Boy. I remember that. That's but hey, crazy. you say you said it. That's crazy. I just think it's, you know, I probably wouldn't slip my eyebrow. But well, you probably wouldn't put a bandaid in your eyes. It's just different. People different. Why you don't do it no more? Just haven't had the inspiration to do it. You wear a band-aid every day? No. But that's just something that you do every day. Like, oh, I want to get a nose piercing. Oh, I want to, like, have my hair cut a certain way. I feel like that's a more permanent thing. This is like a fashion thing. I mean, they kind of both fashion, but this is more like a, I could take it off. You can't take off a slit. You can. And most people wear slits. Once they start doing slits, they, they do slits for, for longer than that. Mm. It was, it was kind of like a trial run that you did. You like, uh. I mean, I like it, but it's like, you know, I probably would do it every time I get my hair cut. Remember when they used to say like, if you got, if you got ears in your ear, I think on the right side. If you got what? If you got an earring in yeah. your ear on the right side, it was like considered gay or something. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That's why I had to make sure I had both ears pierced when I was when I was there. You know what I'm I feel that. Uh, quick question. Seeing something on the TV show the other day and thought I'd just run it by you real quick. Was it a spoiler? It, huh? Was it a spoiler? No, it's like a like a regular TV show. I was watching Grownish. Uh, the two dudes went to a restaurant. And one of them asked if it was okay if both of them sat on the same side of the booth. Is that sus or not to you? It's not like it's like, I think you sus, but it's just like, why are you trying to sit next to me? Bro? What do you want to sit over there for? Did he, what, did the, what did the other guy's response say? The other guy's response was like, that's kind of sus. And, and just the fact that like, this is how he knew it's us too. The fact that you had to ask, if you didn't think it was that sus, you would have just sat over there next to him. See what I'm saying? If you thought it was okay, you would have just did it. Instead, you're like, hey, can I sit next to you? Why are you even asking? Because you know it's us. I think some guys are more into bromance than other guys, but they still straight. Yeah, like more so, it's, it's, it's more predicated around white people 
That's why we be saying they weird all the time. I'll just make sure. So like when we go in to the restaurant, like we always sit on opposite sides. You know what I'm saying? Who are you trying to like? You, you like a Brosman bro, bro romance sponsor sponsor or something? Like that's what you trying to do? Like what are you trying to do? I'm trying to I'm trying to see what the playing field is here. Playing field? What the fuck? I'm sorry. Your choice of words is very um I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> uh how about boundaries? I'm just trying to see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what word you could use. I don't even know. I'm just trying to make you know how it's like a lot of stuff is unspoken, which is fine, but I feel like communication is important. And I'm just trying to make sure that one day we go into a restaurant and, you know what I'm saying, I don't make you uncomfortable. Sit. Why Why would you want to sit next to me in a restaurant? You don't like your space to eat? No, I do like my space, but I'm just saying I'm not opposed to it. So you okay with sitting next to each other eating and the other side being empty? I said I'm not opposed to it. I'm, I'm not, I'm asking you, you're okay with that? Yeah, I'd be okay with that. You don't think you need room? As long room. as we got enough room. Like if it's like, a, you know, something boost is like big. What is the benefit of sitting next to me? What? What is the benefit of sitting next to your friend? What is the benefit of sitting next to your friend? Besides sitting on the other side? It's like no, it ain't no like, Crazy weird benefit. It's just like seating. I'm gonna always sit. I'm trying to see what this is. I'm trying to sit. I'm gonna always sit on the other side. Uh -huh. But when I saw that scene, I was just like, everything ain't always sus. If if y'all not they, saying they like, it's like they, sus, it's like it's like a joke. Like you being sus. Like come on, bro, chill. Yeah, but I'm saying like, like bromance is kind of like being able to kind of do stuff like that and not be like. Taking it all the way to the like, you know what I'm saying, extreme. Like, wow, you just sus. You wanna sit by me? Like, no, we that's just how chill. that's how guys joke around. Right. I'm not thinking you really sus like that. I'm just like, hey man, you be a sus. Get on, get on. It's like it's like banter. Right. Like friendly banter. But you cool sitting next to me. No. That's the thing. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about that. Part. I don't want to sit next to another girl. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Ain't nothing wrong with like, it. I don't want I barely want to sit next to a woman unless you we on some stuff. I like my space when I'm about to eat. I said if it's enough space, if it's a big, large booth. If you like over there, like scoot over. This enough? That's that's good. That's good. This, now, now, this is what I'm now, talking now, about. Now come in. That's fine. I ain't talking I about care. sitting next to you like we recording videos. That's what you you like. No, I never said. I just want to know about boundaries. Like I'm, like that's what I have. I said on the same with. side if it's enough space. That's what I said. That's fine. I don't care. Like, as long as you ain't like up on me, like we on a freaking date or something. Like, how how big was the table with the with the dudes? It was like an average size booth. They had enough space. That's too small. They had enough space though. Nah, booths different. Booths is different. And it's the other the other side was empty. Yeah, other side. That was nah, nah. That that we that 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 ain't flying. I'm not like no homophobe. It's just it's just it's weird. It's like, come on, dude. It's the other side, and that irritates me because I'd be like, man, I wish I could have that space over there. But now I can't leave because he's sitting next to me. And if I leave, I'm like, oh man, what, what's wrong? I'm like, I, I want my own space, bro. I was asking your opinion. I ain't said nothing was right or wrong. I was just asking. Hey, if y'all want to sit next to y'all friend, that's fine. I don't mean, know. You, you got to gauge, you know, what, what, what type of stuff your friend cool with. Yeah. So would you sleep in the bed with another man if that's the only bed in, in like the cabin and y'all stranded or something? Uh, if the floor, it was like insects or like you have to worry about getting bit by a black latoose, what's it called? Then yeah, if the bed is big enough, like I ain't finna be no twin size bed with another dude, man. I, I'm gonna be army style outside in the cold, just. <laughs> Take that. With my weapon, all right, just. Ain't no couch or nothing? <laughs> nah, ain't no couch, just a bed. And that's it. So you gotta cabin. sleep outside. Get I'm outside. By, you get attacked by a bear. I'm I'm on watch. I'm on watch duty. I'm gonna be like this. Just sleeping <laughs> like that. <laughs> nah, I sleep. I uh, I don't think that's. I do that. Like if the bed big enough, I ain't finna be. You know. I'll be outside. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go take watch duty, fam. We just rotate. That's not happening. 
People probably do. Oh, oh, you're such a, you said you said you're homophobic. No, you're not even that. I just, I just don't want to do it. You slept in a bed with somebody, not wanting to do it. So why would you like? <laughs> It wasn't my choice. That's what I'm saying. Like, who'd you want me to do? If it I know he was in there. It was fine, right? I didn't like it. That's why when I wake up, I was like, what the? And I kicked him out. See? It's different. I'm like, all right, he in bed, whatever. It's cool. No, I was like, what the? What are you doing? Get out of my bed. So what if he took your, what if he slept on the floor and got bit by a freaking brown That's on him. He should have went home. He had ample enough time to go home. Yeah, that's a different factor. That's a different factor. We just we talking about your uh, hypothetical, where it's like the bed is the only Thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And hey, what if he slept on the floor, got bit or attacked by an animal or insect, and you like, dang, man. If he just, you know, I, I, in the I, bed. I, Before that even happened, I would have gave him the bed, and I would have been outside on watch. Made me a little fire. You know what I'm saying? Write some notes in my journal. You know? Look at the stars. I can make a good situation out of anything. I'm not sleeping in bed with that dude. Not happy. Okay. I can stay warm myself. <laughs> On watch. <laughs> what what if you have to fly to space and to get there, you in a rocket ship and y'all gotta be like close to each other? Like, you know how they gotta like sit down or whatever? But y'all had to like sit into like y'all had to lay on this like bed and like face each other just for the for the explosion. That's not how it works. You're just making stuff up. That's not how it I'm works. Try, it, That's not a how hypothetical it works, is though. making stuff up. I'm not gonna go to space then. It's not happening. So you go risk I said space because you like space. And I'm not going. So you will miss your opportunity to do something you really love. I'm not about to shoot to space breathing in somebody another you day. You gotta freaking throw the mask uh, uh, thing on. Oh, I got a mask on? Nah. The only thing is that y'all are like close. Just for the <laughs> just for the uh rocket part. God, it's weird thing. That's bro. crazy, bro. I don't understand you, bro. That's crazy. What, what is with this, bro? You know it's not not one situation like that. Ever, 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 ever. Maybe you do like some life if it's a life threatening thing and I have to do something, then I'll do it. But if it ain't life threatening, I ain't doing it. Yeah, that is all of them. That's fine. I'll, I'll try to believe that. If it's life threatening, then I then I'm like, all right, man, we got bunk, we got we got a bunker up, fam. Easy. Life threatening is too easy because like, right, you'd right, be a all bad right. person if all you right. do it. No, no, no. I say, for instance, the the seat is malfunction on the, on the other the co pilot seat, and the only way to survive because y'all got a brace for impact is the the guy got to sit on your lap so y'all can share the seat belt. You gonna you gonna let that happen? Yeah. All right, yeah. That's fine. But that's a life of death situation. We keep. How you go? No, nah, no. Nah, you want to ask me, so I got you. Then there you go. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> what that cherish you that? Oh dying. my god! Man, that's like, come crazy. on, come on, man. Sit on my lap. That's crazy. Man. Nope. 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 Yeah, nope. Yeah. I'm probably gonna die anyway. Let's just be honest. I'm be mad as hell. I'm, we did that. We died. I'm be like this. And you did that? No, we did that. I'm gonna be pissed because I I sat on your lap and then I still died. I could have just sat on your lap. It's worth the risk though. Nah, if it's like thirty seven percent chance I stay alive, I'm good. That's crazy. All right, man. We back. You know what I'm saying? One piece. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Now that we got the boundaries out the way. We got a Luffy fighting category. One of my favorite fights. It's grooming up to be so far. You know, when Luffy went gear four, I felt like back in the day, like when I was watching like Naruto or Dragon Ball, Goku go Super Saiyan or Naruto with uh, Karama or something. Like I felt like like a kid, like a, like a super kid again watching it. Like when he turned gear four, like it was just super dope. See him do that, man. I, I love Luffy, man. He a dope, he a dope MC. But this fight is dope. What you think about Katakuri? I like Katakuri's design. I like his abilities. I like his poise. You know what I'm saying? Outside him getting kind of wild, like Big Mom. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's uh, he's, he's a noble man sticking up for his family, trying to try and be the big brother. That's dope. You know. Um, yeah. Ooh, uh, donuts. I think what like One Piece is like. 
we kind of used to like Luffy getting that new ability, but still getting bopped in yeah. a sense, or some type of situation happens where he like cuts off. He doesn't have it for a long enough time. And then the, and then the villain kind of still beats him up. Yeah. But then the, the overall winning factor is if he gets saved by somebody or he has this battle smart, you know what I'm saying? It figures out some some type of way to like to like one up the villain. Yeah. So uh, that's that's kind of what I see was about to happen. Like a, a weird situation, or it's gonna be a battle smart day. So one thing I like about Luffy fights is like I feel like he ought to be making him get his back toward the wall so that he mm. can showcase his combat IQ. Yeah. Because that's like where he shines the most and stuff like that. So it makes sense he be losing in all his fights. So yeah. he can come up with a way to freaking get out of it. But do you think if he beat Katakuri that it'll be weird? Like, would you like that if he beat him? Because of like the like the power um, difference? I don't think it'd be I thought it would be more weird if he, he if he beat Big Mom. Um oh, if he yeah. beat Katakuri, I don't think it's weird because we get because like I said before, we still don't know his his like full potential. Because because of him tra training with Rayleigh, we don't really know his full potential. I mean, you kind of say we know it based off Dress Rosa, but I don't know. It's like you don't really be knowing what Luffy's full potential until you get later on in the story, like pre time yeah. skip. We kind of knew what it was when 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 we hit Marine Ford. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. When we hit Sabadi, and he just couldn't do anything against the pacifist. You know what I'm saying? And um and um Kuma. Oh my yeah. That's when we kind of know, like, all right, he really ain't got nothing else because all the other arcs he kind of showed us one up, one up, one up, one up. But but now it's like, okay, we used everything. Okay, dang, this is his 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 range right now. There. Do you think he has like a gear five? I wouldn't be opposed to it, like him getting him him getting to a gear five. I mean, like we got because like I don't think this is Luffy's final transformation, to be honest. Like, yeah, we have just... we have awakening that we still have to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So mastering, mastering all the hockey's and stuff like that. So yeah, we Thinking, got a lot more room. Because I think most of his like transformations, like the time spent, is like big gaps. Like before we seen, actually, you know, Gear Two and Gear Three was kind of like, close. It was like in this very same. Yeah, it was in the same thing. Gear crazy. Two and Gear Three was close, but Gear Three and Gear Four was like a massive, like yeah, a huge, a huge dip. So. I don't know, man. Luffy always putting something out. Um, yeah. You got, you got like, or like some accidental may happen. You yeah. Know, those powers come about like, oh, I just accidentally went ultra instinct. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then, yeah, like fighting you the took somebody to the brink, you push them to the brink far enough and something weird happens. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I, I, can, I can definitely see, um, and like, like a possible awakening or him just having a battle smart, uh, move or just something weird just happening. Yeah. Like, oh, they, they like, Maybe the cake plays such a huge factor in us leaving because we always thought about how we're gonna get out of this. Maybe right. that cake is that important. Yeah, gotta be. Sanji's Sanji on it, so yeah. so so it gotta be. It gotta be something important for us to get out of here. Yeah, but yeah. All right, man. Ready to get into it. See Let's run it up. It's crazy that a woman is voicing this. Yeah. It's so realistic. His like his like knee brace reminds me of the other general for some reason. Mm. That female one. He said he became strong again. <laughs> <laughs> Luffy, use the observation stuff, bruh. My pig do mad, he don't do the well. <laughs> she ain't been doing nothing. I like I like they still care about their people though. In a sense, even though they're taking their souls, but you know, they still, still had a nerve to like they still uh, have like, a notion to like evacuate. Like the islanders, she was saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is she smelling? I know he'd be stressed. I 
Go get your wife. Right. Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, that's why they ain't been notified. She been helping them. That's OP. Yeah. Where they get that big old seat for Jim Bay? <laughs> I'm the ones that's helping y'all right now. That leaves that leaves that leaves them like like vulnerable too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what you gonna do? All right. I came back to report. <laughs> they living their best life. <laughs> what is he doing? She washing clothes in the water. Mm, titties. <laughs> Respect. Dang. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. You think Katakuri finna let you do this? Katakuri probably ain't even gonna kill him. Like, he just gonna be playing with him. That's crazy. Normally, he can't even move, right? Yeah, he's starting to get better with it now. Yeah. He takes some hits without hockey. Zoro, who? Bro, Zoro probably cold as heck right now. No, he ain't doing nothing but training, man. He be in the Wanos. I'm sure ain't number Samurai there. It's a fool? In the mirror? Oh. He like a perv doing it. Damn, stuck <laughs> yeah, in the out of there. Branch. You gonna go back? Oh, he right there with big big mom is. Damn. Oh, he on nuts island. Oh my. Yeah. The out of all the places it could be, bro. Luffy, make sure they don't say shit lit. Mr. Good old days. <laughs> was just, getting the whole cake island. It was just five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't hot in that. Hey, they gotta get fishmen in there. It's too good. This is not good, man. Nobody's gonna be able to duplicate this. Big Mom gonna be hunger pains forever. Made with love. I'm sure you want to try his cream. I know you want to. <laughs> hmm? Dang, it's going to be too good. <laughs> I got she got a black lid. She only done one bite, probably.
why why that landed she gonna probably be right next to him about to smash him then she gonna smell the cake be like mm -hmm. Cakey. Yeah, man. Um, thought he was continuing. Sounds like you got the secret ingredients. Hey. Imagine making food so good <clears throat> that when somebody tastes it, they just like go in a trance, bro. Yeah. That got to be a good feeling. You know what would have been a cool reach? Is a big mom's. Since she had Yanko, her observation hockey is so wild that she can see further than her son. And she and it because because you know uh her son, the 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 lick dude was saying that Star Hat got it, and then she had observation hockey knowing Star Hat was gonna pop up at the, the Nuts Island. Oh, like the like the like yeah. the future thing? That would have been cool. But I know it wasn't that probably wasn't. Yeah. That's kind of crazy, but the one place you go out of all those mirrors, you freaking right end there. up with Big Mom running from Katakuri, bro. And the fact that he about to go back and fight him again. That's balls, yeah. man. Yeah. That's balls right there, because cause I would thought he's trapped. If I got if I got Brule, I'd tie up. Like, he, sh he shouldn't be able to come back. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. He shouldn't be able to come back. Yeah. He, sh he should be stuck in Mirror World. Uh... Yeah, but I respect Luffy though, you know, for going back to finish the fight. I feel like you should finish the fight now. If the plan was to defeat him, was to like beat them all, then yeah. The plan was to get out he of there. He said, I mean, that's what Luffy said. Luffy also said he's going to beat Big Mom up. Let me see what happened with that. I know, but we know he ain't going you know, to match with Big Mom. But like, kind of he, curious. He don't know that. Kinda... He didn't know that until it happened. Katakuri, different story, man. He said, Goofy, you can't run, bro. Now, at this point. I don't think there's any shame in running. I don't think so either, but it's like. He already smashed a mirror. He said, I'm going to defeat you. He already figured out battle sense on kind of how to get him. And it's kind of like. It's just like, stop right there. That's like a girl freaking. Doing all these moves, taking you out to dinner, playing footsie with you, take you home, touching, and then get to that point, and it's like, ah, go to sleep. That happens a lot. But it, uh, is it wrong? Is it right, though, is what I'm saying? It's not right to us, but it's right to them. No, it's not, it's not right. You just, you just don't want to be blue balled by the fight? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. At this point, I don't want to be blue balled by the fight. Understandable. But, hey. That's how they write it, then that's how they write it. Sure. But yeah. Uh, I don't really got nothing else. It's cool to see him act. That's the first time they've ever seen him move in Gear 4. That's why I was thinking, like, mm -hmm. if he go Gear 4, he got to defeat him. But now the drawback of Gear 4 that I was kind of worried about is not there no more because he's running and getting away on his own. Like, ain't nobody yeah. carrying him. So. We'll see. We'll see, man. Ready to get to the next episode. If you look at that brulee, like, you better not say shit, is that? You, you snitch on yourself. Snitch ain't his bad freaking, man. Mama. She said, eh. She just tried to smash you with a peanut. Damn. He tried to normal hit it. Everybody's sore famous. Hey, it's all gonna take your shit, isn't it? It's probably not good enough for Zoro anyway. Mm -mm. <laughs> Look at go. You clean all this up. You gotta be on cook duty or clean duty? Cook duty. I hate cleaning. Especially dishes. Sanji special. The disguise. 
this cake the same size as the one before? I know they said it was supposed to be an exact replica, but it looks smaller. Yeah. All that work, she about to eat it in one bite. <laughs> uh oh, pop still here. He's like, tell your mom to take me off child support. <laughs> Why are you hiding behind a big tree? Boy, let's go. He reminds me of Endeavor. <laughs> yeah. Dang, cause she with Beige. Beige. He had to do a sister like that though. Damn. The father gonna help, man. Father with a mop. Touch his daughter. That ain't that quick. Y'all can't go back without T from bro. Come on, Pops. Talk about he's destroying the town, but this is your ability. Right. Peanut butter smelling good, though. I ain't gonna lie. You used to eat some peanut butter bars uh, in school. You used to be so fire, boy. They had jelly and I like the ones with jelly in it. But he ran past him. Where did Brule at? <laughs> Just called himself an idiot. <laughs> Don't look at us, Brule. <laughs> I'll never lose you again. Fifth daughter. Hey, <laughs> without hockey, bro, you pretty much useless, bro. In the new world, yeah. Second daughter of Charlotte. <laughs> he said, "Go, go, 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 Grant." He said, "Really?" She said, Ooh, "Brent." Got him. Dang, she ain't playing. She don't care about you. Come on, Pops. That's his daughter! Hey, Sanji. Sanji got that shit snit. That's all I'm about to say. Wow, Sanji got Sanji observation. Got the observation. So everybody's just getting hockey observation, all the type of stuff. Sanji was like, whoever that is, he still went and did it. Sanji. He, he's about to try to get him, though. Sanji, go. <laughs> Yo! My man just elevated, bro. In That's one crazy. scene, just went dummy. <laughs> I'm so good at that, though. It happened so fast, you know, I don't, yeah. I don't blame him. He said, which, which one of y'all hit me? That's the dude the butterhead. They just put a sheet on. <laughs> put a bag on her head. That's crazy. Mm. What? <laughs> Found her. 
The snail can stop anything. Why the hey. snail be saving people, bro? He got his own ship. I'd be damned if my ship get taken out by a tart. <laughs> Facts. I don't even like tarts in real life. No. And it's like the bitter. It's like bitter or something. Like, yeah, it's like kind of bitter. I think. There you go. What? He had the band aid, had the Nelly going. The Nelly, but he got it wrong, on wrong though. You gotta have it like this. W husband. I still don't like his character design, but I do like how Udi can uh, give us a character that we probably weren't interested about, and then kind of like make us like turn to like like that character a lot. He's Heck cool. Yeah. He's a cool dude. W father, W husband, W leader. Yes, sir. I yeah. give him that. His devil fruit is actually better than what I thought. Yeah. But yeah. And you still like his coat. His coat is all right. His coat is all right. Not better than the other coats, but it's all right. Really? I'm, I'm going to have to have a, a ranking of like one piece coats. Do a tier list of one, of one piece coats. I can see that. I already know who's going to be number one. So. Got a coat? No. Crocodile? No. Delphi? Of course. Come on, huh? Coat better than Delphi's. Not really nobody's. I could probably oh, debate Katakuri's, but... The only one that can kind of match it is two people I see. We got Crocodile. We got Corazon. Because it's pretty this much a mimic of it, but it's yeah. a different color. <laughs> but I prefer the pink. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh... Sanji really impressed me this episode. He, like, he got control of his like observation stuff. He was able to see it before it happened and like went in there real quick, pieced him up, got back, saved. Like that was like some crazy stuff right there. He um, kind of making me think like it kind of makes me think that they had it already. They just didn't use it. Cause it didn't seem like he was surprised by it or nothing like that. He just was like, oh, let me go stop this. You know what I'm saying? So I be kind of thinking like, do they do they be having these already? Like the the, the ornament hockey, the observation. Cause like Zoro just uses like he uses it all the time. Yeah, the only ones that seem like Luffy, he looked like confused when it happened to him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, like you said, same like, thing with Usopp. Usopp looked like. Yeah, like what's going on? But like, still used it. Yeah, yeah Sanji and them seem like they wasn't confused by it. Like just went ahead and did it. Sanji learned. Like they probably got both of them, of course, but maybe like, uh, what's that? What's that dude name that trained him? Who he kind of trained under? What's his name? Yeah, it. Nah, the. Oh, Yvonne. Yvonne probably gave him like observation, and then, and then uh, what's the name? Gave Zoro the. the uh, Mihawk. Yeah, Mihawk gave him the ornament. I think I think I'm pretty sure they got both though. Yeah. Because I think Zoro showed observation like a long time ago yeah. versus Mr. One. That's dope. Yeah. Pretty dope. Fire, man. Fire. But hey, Luffy on the run and uh, about to see if he going to end up fighting Katakuri, finishing that fight, or how we going to get this cake to her and seal the deal. How many more episodes of whole cake? You know? We have 50 what? Yeah. Hey, man. Pretty cool, man. But hey, hope you enjoyed the episodes, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure I check your videos out on our Patreon before you put them on YouTube. Thanks, right, so check it out. Peace. Deuces.